Hello everyone, Ian here at Able City in Burbank. Today I'm checking out firmware version 2.1 for the Panasonic GH5. Now this firmware version adds enhancements to old features and adds some really interesting new ones. It's uh, improve the autofocus capabilities. There are now more capabilities in all eye or interframe uh, recording modes, which is uh, either in full HD, which is 1920 by 1080, or in 4K. There's also an HDR recording mode in 4K, HDR being high dynamic range, which simply means we're able to capture the full dynamic range of the sensor and be able to display that on BT2100 compatible devices. But Probably the feature that's getting the most buzz right now in the filmmaking community is the anamorphic capabilities. We've been able to capture 4K anamorphic and 422 10-bit for a while now, but now Panasonic has added the 6K capability in 420 10-bit. So I was really curious to see what 6K images would look like. So I grabbed my uh, Angino anamorphic zoom here, went out and got a couple of shots, and I'm gonna show you what I discovered in my Resolve workflow. Went outside with Estella and grabbed a couple of clips. Again, we were using the GH5 and the Ingenue uh, lightweight zoom for this shot. And before I go into the coloring, uh, notice we have this shot up here. Look up here at the metadata. Notice that we have a uh, photo site count of 4992 by 3744. So we set the camera up for 6K, uh, and the actual count is a little less than that. Just uh, interesting to note that. And also, it's in a HEVC uh, codec, which is H.265, which is basically more efficient and uh, appropriate codec for 4K and beyond capture. So I want to go over to the color, and we'll take a look at that real quick. OK, so this shot here. Literally all I've done on the node tree is I've uh, put the Panasonic uh, D-Log LUT on number three. And number two just did a little saturation, warmed our skin slightly, warmed everything slightly, and uh, did a little contrast. I'm going to go into full frame so you can see this. And as you can see, it's pretty remarkable uh, how good these images are. And again, this was just with available light, just a little bit of bounce. and. Uh, you know, it just goes to show if you put good glass on a camera, you can get really stunning images. And with the size and the cost of the GH5, uh, it's really making some remarkable images. That wraps up my look at firmware version 2.1 for the Panasonic GH5. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.